Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be playing the Signal State. This uh, video game came out on 23rd September and uh, it's a puzzle game. Uh, the action in the game takes place in the post-apocalyptic future and overall we must uh, solve puzzles in different levels. Uh, we will continue from where I'm left with uh, the circuit breaker. Uh, but before I uh, dive deeper into that, I would like to invite you to check out the link in the description that will take you on the Steam page of the Signal State where you can download the demo, try the game for yourself and see if it's worth uh, purchasing it. So link in the description, let's get going. So let's continue from level 3, Circuit Breaker. Okay, this is Miriam. Miriam is uh, chatting with me from the beginning of um, of the game, so she is saying getting the hang of it. Yeah, basically he stays and she stays in touch with me and makes sure I understand the logic behind each puzzle. Oh, okay, Miriam says great. Now that the generator is up and running, it is time to route power to the various power lines with the circuit breaker. All right. Okay, let's begin. This, these are the details. We have some objectives. Um, let's get going. So basically, we are doing stuff uh, in the real world based on the puzzles. Okay, so the module catalog shows what modules are available for this circuit. I need to read the description to understand their behaviors. Okay, makes sense. So let's drag this one here. Okay, click and drag the an existing modules to arrange them, uh, drag them away from the rack to delete them. Try it now, delete the sum module. Okay. Some modules have adjustable controls that affect their behavior. Adjust the bias amount till it reads 10 volts by rotating the comb. Okay, we need to, we need 10, okay. Knobs can also be adjusted with a scroll wheel or by typing into the numeric display. Try adjusting the value to 5 volts with a scroll wheel or typing. Yeah, I kind of use the scroll wheel. Use these buttons to toggle between the modules catalog and in and out panel. The in and out panel shows the given source signal and the expected output signal you need to match. Hover over them to see their uh, precise values. Analyze them and you might notice patterns. Okay. Signals are always limited to a range of minus 100 volts to 100 volts. Try solving the circuit on your own. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so we have the source. Um, okay, let's try to... Do that. And that. Let's see what we get. Okay, something is not good. So we have the objectives. Output one receives. Uh, wait. So output one receives source one signals increased by five volts. Okay, I think it's done. Yeah, output one is okay. Output two receives source one signal with its intensity halved. Stop. Halved. How is that? That's not halt. Okay. The attenuator worked. So we've made the first puzzle together. We got the score. Okay, let's continue. So Miriam says, excellent. The generator is now able to efficiently route power to whatever system are in need of it. Time for the next setup. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Disconnect. 
Okay, farmhouse lights. Time to get the farmhouse lights on. The lightning circuitry is not too complicated. Some voltage levels will have to be altered to prevent blowing the lights out. Alright, let's start. Okay, let's begin. So we have the objective to tell us what to do. Your system contains some functions meant for your convenience. You can change the speed of signal playback. Cables can be color coded for organizational purposes. Right click on the existing cable to update its color. Okay. You can ask me for hints if you are ever stuck. Okay. The notepad and oscilloscope modules can be useful for debugging and experimenting. Always remember to read your brief for your objective. Good luck. Yeah, so this game seems really good for, for nerds. Okay, output 1 is source 1 and source 2 summed together. Okay, so we have this. So output 1 is source 1. And source two sum together. Done. Output two is source two subtracted from source one. This is in. Output 2 is source 2 subtracted from source 1. Yeah, I think this might be a little bit more complicated than I thought. So let's ask for hints. I need a hint. Output 1 should be, should be simply. We only have some two signals together. Okay, I need another hint. Output to require subtraction. You can do subtractions with some modules too, but it needs extra help. Subtraction is really just adding a positive signal with a negative signal. You can turn a positive signal into a negative signal by inverting it. Attenuators can invert signals. And if you want more help, go on Discord. Okay, output point should be simply uh, only sum of two signals together. Okay, I have that. What I think. I'm rushing a little bit, am I? Okay, output 2 requires subtraction. You can do subtraction with some modules, which I am not using. With some modules. Two, but it needs extra help. Subtraction is really just adding a positive signal with a negative signal. By inverting it, attenuators can invert signals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Positive signal is a negative signal. I think I'm gonna need another sum. Okay, so source one input. No, I'm gonna need more outputs. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna need the split. So I'm gonna need a split. gonna be green anyway 
There you go. And now I'm going to need a sum. And I'm done with output one. Okay, now I'm going to need to subtract to add a negative signal with a, ne a positive signal with a negative signal. So we need to invert the attenuator. Okay. Do I need like okay some let's see. Now I'm gonna put source one Okay, let's see. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's not working. So. Output 2 requires subtraction. You can do subtractions with some modules too, but it needs extra help. Subtraction is really just adding a positive signal with a negative signal. You can turn a positive signal into a negative signal by inverting it. Attenuators can invert signals. Okay. This is an attenuator and it doesn't invert anything. The first one works but the next one doesn't. So something happens in here. I'm going to need source to no okay I need different colors I'm gonna use uh, blue. So output two is source two, which is this one. Subtracted from source one. Source two. Can turn a positive signal to negative by inverting it. Adding a positive signal to a negative signal. And to do that, uh, no, it doesn't work. Trial and error. No, it doesn't. Huh. How stupid can I be? I didn't connect this one to the output too, so I was never getting the result. But it looks like I kind of figured out the solution.
So all I needed was a little break. Okay, let's move on. So Miriam says, excellent. With the lights on, you should be able to get uh, work done even at night. Am I expected to work nights as well? No, of course not. I leave that choice up to you. The sooner you get equipment up and running, do the sooner we can send people to help run the place. All right. Some of these machines are going to need new modules added to your rewriting system. I will let Gordon deliver them to you when the time comes. All right. I don't know who Gordon is, but I'm just eager to go to the next level so I can get to, you know, cover as much content as possible uh, before ending the video. So this is Gordon. Hello, it's me, Gordon Lee. We met briefly before you departed headquarters. I issued you your modular rewriting system. Right, I remember. I sent a delivery drone over to you with some new modules last night. Did you get it? Yes, you scared the crap out of me. Ha, huh, I apologize. Just though, just thought you might want the new modules fresh out of the workshop. Does the freshness make a difference? Absolutely not. Okay, good to know. What are these new modules? These are voltage controlled amplifiers, also known as uh, VCAs. Are you familiar with them? Uh, no, not at all. So, the VCAs control the intensity or amplitude of a signal. With another signal, this, uh, this other signal, the control voltage or CV is treated as a percentage value from 0% to 100% and is then multiplied with the input signal at 0%. The input signal is completely muted. At 100% the input signal is sent through unchanged. At any percentage between the input signal has a reduced value. Basically think of VCAs like a faucet that controls water flow except you control the water flow with another water flow. Okay I've got it. Great. I'll get started then. Let's get going. So everything gets tougher and tougher. So the percentage value is specified by source 2. At each time step, output 1 receives a specified percentage of source 1's signal. Okay. See the spe specified percentage of source one signal. So source one output. Okay. Essentially, output equals input multiplied by CV. So we passed the VCA test. Great job, you are natural at this. Well, it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> That's just uh, the imposter syndrome talking. Miriam saying now, hey, just heard from Gordon, good work. You are well on your way getting that farm back to its usual glory, thanks. Let's disconnect now. Okay, barn lights, let's go really fast. More lights to jumpstart. I'll give it a shot. Let's get going. I want to do this one as well before. Click on any time step in the input output panel to add the breakpoint right now. Signal playback will pause at each breakpoint, allowing you to visually debug your signal flow. Clicking on the same time step will remove the breakpoint. There you go. Okay, send source 1 to output 1, but with its intensity boosted by 50%. So we have VCA. Okay. So I'm gonna go take care of output 1 here. 
red. So, output one needs to be boosted by 50%. So there you go. Okay, output one is not what it should be. Okay. I don't get it. Takes an input and shifts it by constant offset value. So if there is no input, does it? doing something wrong and they think I am doing but with its intensity boosted by 50% the attenuator maybe I'm doing something wrong here Sensors one to output one, but with intensity boosted fifty percent. Huh. So I think I kind of. Yeah, this is where I give up guys by my logic it should work but it doesn't so anyway I'm gonna stop here make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video don't forget to check out the demo link in the description if you wish to play the signal state yourself see if you can pass this level and uh, many thanks to the creators of the game for sponsoring this video through the Indiboost platform thank you guys bye